Hello to all. We are making yet another video about adaptive communication. If you're familiar with my earlier videos about Max, my son, you probably appreciate the difficulties, the challenges in communicating with a child who is both deaf and blind. The system I'd like to concentrate on today is a tactile representation of words. It's using iconic objects paired with the braille based on story cards. If you have worked with special needs kids in the past, you're probably familiar with object calendars. This is basically the same principle. The ideal is Give Max an object clue or some physical representation of the word linked with its braille counterpart. For many children, this system is used as their only method of communication. Now Max has mastered the ideal of symbolic communication. He knows over 800 signs and he has emerging braille skills. So, what exactly does Max need this system for? Well, when I first heard about this system, it was during a summer camp that was uh, put on by the Kentucky Deaf Blind Project about two years ago. And I was really excited about it because I could see where it would have true value in helping Max to learn how to read. He could develop the ideal of focus on story content. He could learn the scanning principles of left to right with reading, of reading from one line to the next. These tactile story cards also can serve as a calendar. This can allow Max to not only review his day, what he's done, but also to anticipate what he will be doing in the future. These tiles are also useful in that if you have a person who doesn't know how to sign, then these can serve as a segue between one communicating partner and the next. <laughs> That's my dog itching. <laughs> anyway, so if you have a person uh, that perhaps doesn't have the best signing skills, then these uh, tiles that have the uh, English equivalent on the words uh, can easily be uh, shared between Max and their selves for a meaningful conversation. Also, these tiles can serve as a location marker. Uh, for instance, at school, uh, they have the tiles outside of the door of the room of an activity that Max will be expected to go to. So for instance, uh, the sensory room has like this squishy ball that's on a tile and this has been placed outside the door so that when Max is walking towards it, he can touch the tile, he can feel, oh, that's right, uh, I'm here for the sensory room and, and now I know what to expect as I enter into that door. And uh, also these tiles can be used to help Max uh, make a choice. Uh, for instance, uh, you could offer these tiles, uh, Max, do you want to walk uh, or do you want to read a book? And then he can learn to pick the tile of his choice and uh, share that with his partner. And lastly, uh, the most important concept actually that I was excited about is I think these tiles are going to help train Max's brain to organize thoughts that if these tiles are reviewed in a consistent manner uh, with his caregivers, his communicating partners, that he will learn to expect certain salient points out of any story or event that is shared. Uh, and we're going to talk about more of that in just a moment. The idea of sequencing is that we are providing Max with the story or the sentences in the same order of word category. Uh, and what I mean by that is that um, this is the library that I developed over the past year. And the idea is that we are going to present Max with the information in a predictable, similar fashion, no matter who is uh, reviewing this with him. So for example, uh, if we wanted to discuss a topic 
like let's just say what Max did today, then uh, we always start with time element first. Uh, that makes sense, you know, in every good fairy tale it starts with once upon a time. So let's just say today is uh, how we are going to describe that. And this is followed by who. And again, that makes sense. You know, who is the uh, person involved in this event? And it's usually Max because he is uh, the focus of most of these interactions. But we also have uh, plaques for uh, mom, dad, friends, teacher, whatever the story requires. So let's just say today Max did what? What is his action? And let's just say, well, he went for a walk. So we're going to put our walk tile down. And then uh, the next will be, where did Max go for a walk? Um, well, let's just say he walked outside. And lastly, uh, perhaps we want to um, ask Max, uh, how did he feel uh, about that walk? You know, was he bored? Was he tired? Was he happy? So let's just say he was happy. So we can add that to our, our storyline. So again, um, these are basically in the orders of uh, a category of word meaning and a relatively self-explanatory. There's only two other categories that uh, uh, I should review. Uh, one is objects, and um, usually we use this uh, in the form of uh, choices for Max to make, like, you know, Max, you know, do you want a fan or um, do you want to go play in the water? Um, but the last category I want to discuss are the words in expansion. Expansion is the category that contains a lot of different types of words, but perhaps the easiest way to think of it is these are the words that help make your sentence make more sense. They clarify intent. Uh, for instance, let's take our example uh, that Max went for a walk and that he was happy about. Really what would make a little bit more sense is to add a expansive word such as Max today went for a walk outside and he was happy. So again, we, uh, we typically incorporate at least these four categories in, in, in most of the interactions, uh, but there is a uh, room for uh, increased uh, word usage and explanation. So we are trying to incorporate more of the expansion and his feeling about the event. Maxie, guess what time it is? It's story card time, okay? So we're going to talk about today and what we'll be doing later today and tomorrow. So I always like to go over kind of a brief summary of what we've done today to kind of give him a sense of anticipation of what to look for in the cards. <coughs> Try not bring him off. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, Maxie, let's read our story cards, okay? I start at the top and let them feel the whole card. Today, T-O-D-A-Y is, you feel the is sign? I-S is what? You feel the cross? It's Sunday. S-U-N-D-A-Y. And who did what? Max. M-A-X. And Mama, M-O-M, we went, we went, W-E-N-T, where did we go? We went to church, we went to church, C-H-U-R-C, -H very good, Max, so today is Sunday, Max and Mom, we went to church, but what are we going to do now, Max, what are we going to do now, huh, now, Max and Daddy are going to go to swim, and you're going to go play bowling. Bowling with the bowling ball. Yay! All right, so let's read about that. So now, N-O-W, who, 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 mm who, -hmm. who, no, okay, the boy, yes, Max, that's right, and who, <laughs> Dad, 
D A D. And what are we going to do? We're going to go. G O. We're going to go where? Where are we going to go, Max? Feel the water? Feel the water, son, and the pool? We're going to go swim. And then we're going to go to the bowling alley. B O W L I N G. Alley. A L L E Y. You're going to go to the bowling place and you're going to bowl. But what about tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Let's read. Let's read and see. So, tomorrow. T O M O R R O W. What's, going, what's tomorrow's day? It's going to be Monday. M O N. D-A-Y. And who? Who is going to do what? Max. What is he going to do? He's going to have to go to work. W-O-R-K. And where is he going to work? He's going to work at school. S-C-H-O-O-L. And then he gets to play. P-L-A-Y. And who are you going to play with? Your friend. F R. I-E-N-D. Very good, Max. Very good. So tomorrow is Monday, and you're going to go to school, and you're going to work, and then you're going to play with your friend. Yay! So hey, guys. Uh, my name is Sam. I'm one of Max's friends, and I'm going to run in through kind of what our day is going to be like today. So Max, that's your name. Here we go, M, A, X, me. Max just went to the toilet. So toilet. Next, Max, you're going to eat. So eat. Then Max and friend, me, S, A, M. We are going to go... Walk, walk, <laughs> to my car. <laughs> then Max, is, Max and friends, we're going to go shop, shopping. Then we're going to go to the library, library. Then later on, later... Max will go home and see one more mom. Mom. That's our day, Max. You said the Oh, good job. Okay. This one. Fill that. What's that? Let's fill the top. That's an object. Fill that. What's that? Ooh, you were close. Let's see if we can do it. It's a bus. Bus. Let's see, feel it. Okay, you sign yourself. Bus. Bus. Good job. That's a bus. There. All right, Max. We need to find the bus. Is it this or this? Which is the bus? bus, right? Which one? Oh, good job, Max. You found the bus. All right, let's do this one. You ready? You ready? No? All right. I will wait for you. You have to finish your work first. Now, are you ready? You sound ready. I'll wait. Ready? Good. Oh, let's fill this. It's a place. What's that? I'm sorry to form it. That's church. Church, you're right. That is church, Max, you smart boy. See, that is your church. You're right. Good job. The picture. Not my car. That's not my car. Your turn.
yarn. That's that's not my car. Is it not your car? Let's look. Its hubcaps are too lumpy. Its hubcaps are too lumpy. Sensory room. Tell me sensory. Sensory. Max, go walk. Sensory. Are you ready? You ready to go? Are you ready to go? So how do we actually make these story cards? Well, I'll show you. I actually used this kit that was provided by the Kentucky Deaf Blind Project. Uh, and it is uh, it has been developed by the American Printing House for the Blind. It's called Tactile Connections. And this is where I learned a lot of the ideas about the icons that should be used, some of the concepts that we've already talked about. Uh, like, for instance, uh, using uh, a spoon, something that is um, very familiar uh, with most people uh, to the ideal of eating, that sort of thing. And uh, I also individualized the icons as well, uh, and always focusing on the ideal of touch, what would be uh, familiar to Max. For instance, when um, talking about our dog, uh, I picked out this really cute little plastic icon of a dog that looks somewhat like Duke, but I added some fur as well so that Max could recognize that this fur is similar to Duke's and that he could recognize that as uh, our dog. And another good example is we go to Kentucky Kingdom during the summer, and uh, so I put a uh, seatbelt on there because, of course, when he does his rides, he puts his seatbelt on and that's something that he can physically identify with and hopefully learn the meaning of the tile. Uh, at the end of the day, however, all of these tiles and what their meaning are do have to be um, explained to Max. He has to learn the true meaning of these tiles uh, in order to appreciate them, but hopefully the tactile symbols that we provide will make that learning much faster. Uh, so, say we have our kit here, and it came with samples of all the different types of uh, word categories. And uh, this, for example, is the barn shape that represents places. And so, if we were to make a tile, uh, I usually start off with a, a, a labeler. And this is a P-Touch by Brother. Um, I really think it's very intuitive to use. 
and you just punch in the word that you want uh, to print out and it will do so and a nice bold font just adhere that to your tile and then follow that up with this special adhesive label paper uh, this was uh, actually um, purchased through the American Printing House uh, as well and uh, so we would print out that braille and put it uh, above uh, or in this case below the English equivalent and then the icon that you choose uh, for example uh, for the word uh, uh, restroom we used vinyl for the floor that's pretty familiar the type of flooring that's typically in a restroom along with the uh, icon that represents water which is smooth and cold and hopefully uh, will make that leap of the imagination uh, to water so that is uh, uh, basically how we make these and uh, I love this type of glue it's E6000 it uh, lasts forever it doesn't get brittle it doesn't yellow with time and it's an excellent uh, glue to use uh, for these type uh, of projects and uh, the last thing I wanted to, to share with you guys is there's a lot of different uh, backdrops that we use to read our cards this is the most typical one we use at home uh, again I'll typically have a sentence about uh, the day um, I'll usually go into the night and what our plans are you know that now is night and Max will do his braille uh, he'll read he'll say his prayers and then it's time for sleep and then tomorrow uh, what to expect uh, from that uh, day as well now if it's uh, been a long day we don't have a lot of time and or energy uh, then sometimes I'll just use a simple sentence to to hit the highlights of the day and uh, we take that with us on vacations as well well sometimes uh, the other things that I've shared with other folks are um, this makes a very handy uh, traveling uh, device it's actually just a clipboard um, that's protected I believe I got this at Walmart maybe for you know five or ten dollars but I put in the soft velcro uh, straps that will uh, be uh, friendly to the velcro hooks that are on the back of these tiles and so that's a, a good way that you can travel uh, now when we go on vacation uh, I actually will use um, this it's a tea box uh, actually a tea carrier and what I'll do is I will pick the tiles that I think we're going to need uh, to review uh, on vacation such as let's say a hotel room um, or perhaps the beach icon or the fact that we will be going to the airport and getting on a plane so um, and then I can take these out and review them at the proper time uh, so uh, as uh, you can see behind me this is our, our home uh, library uh, there is a similar uh, uh, setup at school and uh, the school has a few more uh, people because of you know all of the uh, the teachers and his friends at school uh, so they have a little bit more yellow in their uh, in their board and then I also have a shortened version uh, for the uh, folks that work with Max uh, during the week and uh, hopefully they can share some of these um, information tiles uh, with him as well and uh, uh, they uh, have their own little bag with instructions and some of the basic uh, tiles that I feel would be used the most frequently. So uh, once again, thank you for all your time and interest and have a good day.